Hi guys, today we are going to make drunken noodles. I love drunken noodles. It's one of my favorite. Every time I go Thai restaurant, this is what I order. So I wanted to give you the recipe so you don't have to rely on the restaurant and make it as much as you want with the perfect spiciness and sweetness and the savoriness and as much as protein you want and vegetables in your drunken noodles. So I just marinate my eight ounce of extra firm tofu. Just wrap it up with the paper towel and I squeeze as much as, as water possible from the tofu. So now they have a really nice texture and I just toss them in one clove of grated garlic and a little pinch of black pepper and a teaspoon of vegan fish sauce. By the way, this is my favorite vegan fish sauce. If you can find this, that would be great. Hawaii doesn't have this. How do you have it, Song Young? Then you're in Hawaii. Uh, I wasn't able to find online either. Then how did you really have it? Uh, my friend in California, she bought some and brought me some of this when she was visiting Maui. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, check out your Vietnamese or Chinese market for this vegan fish sauce. If it's not, uh, you can use a yondu, that's fine too, or just use soy sauce, that's okay too. It's not gonna be as good, but it still will do. I'm gonna let them marinate like so while I'm preparing other vegetables. It doesn't need to marinate really long time or anything. I just like to marinate my protein when I'm making stir fried noodles. Now I'm gonna chop eight cloves of garlic. You can actually pound it in a mortar and pester. But anyways, instead of Thai chili, I'm using Hawaiian chili since I'm in Hawaii. They are actually spicier than Thai chili, so I'm gonna use only four of them. Even four is pretty brave. And one large shallot or two small shallots. And did you know if you slice a shallot or onion against the grain, it turns out a little more sweeter? I don't know if it's the truth, because I learned this from a comic book, so I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Yoriang, Mr. Yoriang is also. Kurotadunde, well, chalo moro. A little bit of your choice of vegetables. I like to use broccoli, broccolini, Chinese broccoli, yu choy, uh, things like that. They are like super crunchy and delicious. You can use kale, spinach, or whatever vegetable you have. Um, I'm going to use bok choy since I have a bok choy in my refrigerator already. After I shared my chop on recipes, and thank you so much for loving my chop on recipes so much. I'm so grateful and I've been reading all your comments. It's so lovely, you guys are so kind. This is a brand that I'm using in Hawaii. I started making chow fun drunken noodles, any stir fried uh, rice noodles with this one after I moved to Hawaii because this is only fresh rice noodles I can get in Maui. But I used to use whatever brand that is in Asian grocery store, usually Vietnamese or Chinese, they do have um, fresh rice noodles that are locally made and that's what I used to use in California and uh, Texas. So. Visit your Asian grocery store and find the fresh rice noodles that you can find there. Sometimes it's in the room temperature area, that local freshly made one, because as soon as you re refrigerate it, it's getting like a little hardened. You can also find the refrigerator section, um, packaged like this, made, not this brand, but proper packaged like that, and you can find from there too. And lastly, what we need to prepare is Thai basil or holy basil. I know they look really dark and looks kind of sad, so I got this from Farmer's Market, but uh, whatever reason, they got a little freeze in my refrigerator. So sad. But they are still really good to use, so I'm gonna use this one, which is what you need to prep is just take all the leaves out. You can add as much as basil that you like. Jacob and I, we are crazy about basil. Some people just like a little bit, or some people don't even like basil in that drunken noodles at all, so they just add the spinach, which I don't understand. You cannot be my friend. Oh, that basil really doesn't look that great. Sungyeong, why don't you just go to the store and get some more Thai basil? Minutes, you're not living in Maui. <laughs> People in Maui will understand my struggle, our struggle. I think we are ready to stir fry. Everything is ready. So bring your wok, heat a wok over high heat. And you can use regular cooking oil, but today I'm gonna use my extra chili oil because I love my drunken noodles, like spicy and garlicky and basil. And just <clears throat> when you start frying, especially noodles, do not ever scare of how much oil that you're using because it will all stuck together and like, mm, 
ugly. Oh, it smells so much better. So garlic chili, shallot goes in. Woo! <coughs> Woo! My extra chili oil and the Hawaiian chili. Man, it's a killer. Stir fry them about a minute. Go ahead and add the marinade tofu. And unless you are using non-stick skillet, you probably need to add a little more extra oil while you're cooking, depending on how much oil that your protein observes. Go ahead and add the bok choy. And noodles. Some vegan fish sauce. Some soy sauce. Some dark soy. Some vegetarian oyster sauce, some palm sugar, or agave nectar. Woo! This is gonna be so good. Savory, spicy, sweet, the umami, all that flavor together. Mm -mm -mm. Lastly, I'm gonna add some pepper. By the way, when you're cooking chow fun, drunken noodles, or pasiyu, any of those type of fresh rice noodles, stir fry. It's natural that noodles break down. So don't worry about noodles break down so much, okay? They are pretty much done to my like. So this is the time to add too much Thai basil. As soon as you add the basil, turn off the heat. Probably not smart to eat this in my empty stomach because we are filming this in the morning. Cannot resist. Mm. Which part of drunken about this drunken noodles? You eat this when you're drunk. Obviously, I'm not drunk right now. Even though I look like it or acting like it, but I'm not. If you liked my drunken noodle recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel for more delicious, authentic Asian recipes like this. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. She'll catch me if I get weak in the knees. There's nobody else I'd rather spend my everyday with. She doesn't mind.